Meteorologist Pete Nanjoni with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast. Good morning, everybody. And live Pinpoint Doppler 12 kind of tells the tale of today. Let me explain. Notice how most of us are not covered in any rain or thunderstorms. A few isolated storms down towards Nantucket. Those continue to slide off to the east. So the bottom line is most of the day we're not seeing any showers. Every once in a while a strong shower or storm could move through. The better threat of a stronger thunderstorm would actually be after sunset tonight through about uh, midnight. As we look at our dew points today, here's how it breaks down. Now when we get dew points in the mid-60s, that's when it starts to feel muggy. On average, that's where we're going to be for today. Now keep in mind that doesn't mean we're at exactly 65 at every location for every hour, but this is sort of the average when we put everyone together. Tomorrow we get up to 67, so even muggier conditions on the way tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, the jury's still out on whether the dew point will drop a little bit more if a front push through and brings in some drier air a little earlier than I anticipate, we could actually see a lower dew point on Wednesday. But for the next several days, I think the uh, humidity will be a factor, not the nice break in the humidity that we saw yesterday. In the meantime, speaking of humidity, we have lots of moisture in the air. That's why I've seen the low clouds and the fog around this morning. Temperature is 64 degrees. Winds are out of the northwest at three miles an hour. 65 right now in Fall River, 66 New Bedford. We are 64 in Newport, 64 Gloucester and westerly is at 66 degrees. Now on our satellite picture, we have most of the showers moving away from us. That's what we like to see for all those barbecues, so no washouts in the forecast. But because we have this warm frontal boundary in place, every once in a while we could kick off a quick shower or a thunderstorm, especially tonight. All right, we just uh, brought you that story on Tropical Storm Barrel. There she is. You can see uh, the Florida Panhandle, South Carolina, just being inundated with lots of rain. You could see up to uh, six inches with some isolated higher amounts in this section of the country. Basically, this is not going to move very far the next several days, so that heavy rain will continue to come down. And then here's the track of barrel. Its closest pass will be made probably Thursday night into Friday morning. At this point, it looks like it stays well off to sea from southern New England. But we, of course, will let you know if that changes. In the meantime, your forecast for the rest of the day calls for high temperatures in the upper 70s with that sticky humidity in the air. 79 in Riverside, 79 in Barrington, and 79 at the airport with about a 20% chance of seeing a shower or a thunderstorm. South shore temperatures a little cooler. I do expect these winds to push onshore by late afternoon out of the southeast. They'll start light from the northeast and then kind of shift around throughout the day. Coventry gets up to 79 degrees. For northern Rhode Island, temperatures in the upper 70s. Could see a few 80s out there. 80 Burville, 79 Foster, 79 in Johnson. And again, keep in mind, it will feel a little warmer than these numbers actually look on the screen because of the higher humidity. Middletown gets up to 74 degrees. Out on the water, visibility poor this morning improving slightly into the afternoon. I'm not sure if we completely get rid of all the fog today. Waves one to two feet, high tide on the way at 2.02 in the afternoon. And of course, be mindful of any shower or storm that could develop over the water. And about a 20% chance of a shower or storm at our beaches will be foggy, cloudy throughout some of the morning. And then there'll be some breaks of sunshine off and on throughout the day, but not a completely blue sky for the entire afternoon. Safe sun time around 25 minutes. And there's your breakdown of your weather planner. You can see upper 70s already 76 by noontime with a 20% chance of a shower storm during the day. At night, I am pushing this number up to about 40%, and this is the most likely time frame. We could see one of those stronger showers or thunderstorms move on through. Seven day future cast keeps it warm and humid for the next several days. Thursday could be our break in the pattern, mostly sunny high 77, so more refreshing at this point. And then uh, Friday into Saturday, chance of some showers with uh, temperatures in the 70s. We'll uh, keep you updated on the forecast for next weekend because the timing could be a little iffy on that. And of course, we have lots of apps. We have one for your iPhone, one for your Android phone. You can track the weather as you're barbecuing out there today just to make sure there's not a storm in your area. But all in all, the weather looks pretty nice. Patrick? All right, thanks, Pete. Time now for a check of what's coming up on the road show this morning. We're looking back.